Jesus Christ. In today's gospel passage, we see the humble requests of the apostles of how to pray or Lord teach us to pray. We see Jesus gives them and to us all the Our Father prayer as a model for our personal prayer. It's not that the apostles never knew how to pray. The apostles already knew how to pray because they prayed in common as all the Jews did in the synagogue and at key times during the day. Yet, in living close to Jesus, they discovered a new way to live in close fellowship and they felt a need to address the Father differently. Jesus also waited for them to ask him to teach them how to pray as we see in the gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 6 verses 7 to 9 and the following. The Our Father prayer begins by addressing God in a deeply personal way. He is not a God of fear, God of justice anymore as we see in the Old Testament. Rather, He is our Father who loves us unconditionally and without any discrimination. That is why Jesus taught us to address God as Father. St. Paul speaks in his letter to Galatians chapter 4 verse 6, Because you are children, God has sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. St. Therese of Child Jesus also says that, I pray like children who do not know how to read. I say very simply to God what I wish to say, without composing beautiful sentences and he always understands me. So we don't have to be a biblical scholar or a theologian in order for prayer to be a deeply meaningful. Prayer is quite simply a relationship with God. It's the way we both talk and listen to each other. When we become as children in our simplicity, there is no need for any complex thinking when we pray. In this way, prayer becomes easy and constant. Sometimes, our prayer becomes like the day in we are living is the last day of our life and we need everything. Our demands in our prayers are more than praising our God who already know our hearts, needs and wants. There are many saints and even the ordinary people today who pray to God just to praise Him for His blessings in their lives. Jesus also teaches us today to pray with a simple heart and for simple things like daily bread, forgiving others their sins and not to fall into temptation. Jesus in giving us this prayer establishes an undisputable bridge between one's prayer and life. Prayer increases our trust in God knowing that God always wishes our good and His love never fails us. We need daily contact with God because He doesn't provide all at once. So dear friends, let us today ponder over our pattern of prayer. How is my prayer? Is it just merely demanding few couple of things or is it praising God with love for the blessings we have received? And how is my living leads to the true meaning of prayer? May God bless us all. Amen.